killer. What's going on guys, it's Gimme here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Super episode review. Today we're reviewing Dragon Ball Super episode 106 titled, Find Him, Deathmatch with an Invisible Attacker. So the beginning of the episode follows up with what happened in last week's episode, or a couple weeks ago, considering that I haven't been able to review these episodes in a couple weeks. <clears throat> Again, I'll apologize for that if you saw my last episode review, which is episode 105. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description and there will obviously be an end card at the end of the video But anyways, the, be the beginning of the episode starts off of what happened in last week's episode With Master Oshi basically, you know, eliminating th three fighters from Universe 4, I believe And, you know, he's kind of just telling Goku to fuck off so that way he can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I worded it that way, but he told him to just like go on and go fight for, uh, other guys, fight for him and stuff like that. Because right now Master Oshu kind of just wants to rest, considering that he probably used a lot of his energy. So there's a character in this episode, and he's just a whole gag fodder character. I, I found it kind of hilarious, but at the same time, uh, I'll get into why I'm a little disappointed, why we didn't see anything else from him. Well, I'll go ahead and just say it. He's a Universe 6 fighter, and so far, Universe 6 has been consistent of a lot of unique and interesting fighters. Uh, you know, obviously we have Kale, Kalefa, and Kaba, and stuff like that. But then we have, like, Hit, Boltamo, uh, Mageta, stuff like that. Uh, we've seen to also have fighters in Universe 6 that look like Namekians. And then we have Dr. Rota, which is his name. And the whole gag behind him is that he says, let me show you why I Dr. Rota and call Doctor my secret technique or whatever he says is... And then as he's about to say what his technique is, he basically just gets shot down into the ground, which will happens when he's about to fight Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan and Piccolo are in this episode. He's about to basically say what his ability is, and then he gets shot by uh, a key blast, a key attack from a far distance. Uh, the invisible enemy is, well, in the episode they call him like a sort of sniper. And they also have a little sh scene of the Daishinkan basically explaining to the two Zenos what a sniper is. They stay at a far distance and shoot people off from, well, far distances. And in this case, there are two assistances of uh, pe people being a sniper. And I'll get into what that case is, but uh, so far this sniper is shooting off key, uh, key attacks from uh, at... Gohan and Piccolo, and Piccolo actually points out that basically these key attacks are like focused concentrated energy uh, to go off at one point that is very very strong like the special beam cannon or the Mankaku Sapo, if you want to say in both Japanese and English. <laughs> I apologize for my Japanese, it's not really that fluent, but anyways, it shot from a far distance just to pick people off, that's what a sniper does. So this whole episode is basically just consisting of them trying to, uh, you know, find the snipers and stuff like that. Piccolo gets shot in the fucking arm and, you know, he lost a limb. Of course, because he's a Namekian, he's able to regenerate the arm at the cost of a lot of his stamina. And there, one of the uh, guys that is a part of this, like, sniper duo, I guess you can say, his name is Pran. And basically what he does is he kind of just stands there and he's able to reflect Key Blast, which I think is actually kind of interesting because it's kind of like Botamo, but Botamo just nullifies it. Uh, Pran can actually, you know, reflect it back towards his enemies, which is unique in the sense that he can he can reflect it back, as Botamo can only, you know, just nullify the attack, uh, physical attacks and key attacks. So it's pretty interesting, and what Pran also does is just, you know, kind of just being there to, like, absorb a hit of a key attack. He also sends off these flying uh, crystal ball-looking orbs into the sky that acts as, like, a like a third eye or, like, a camera or, or such other things. To be able to, you know, spot enemies and also be able to... Uh, basically shoot off a key attack that bounces off of him towards these flying orbs that are in the sky. So, Gohan and Piccolo, they find where 
the key attacks are coming from, not the actual shooter, but just where they're coming from, from Pran. They find out what the orbs basically do, and so they're going off, they're trying to get to him, and of course they are struggling, and they can't really necessarily get to him. And Pran actually senses uh, heat detection through all these, uh, I guess, crystal orbs. And so what they decide to do is that they ca they try to cause different heat sensing uh, spots to show up, and what they do is basically just shoot off a multitude of attacks uh, from Pran uh, reflecting off of him and kind of just do that. Uh, Goku, Tien, Vegeta are also in the episode, and so they try to help out. Uh, Goku and Vegeta go after Pran, and Tien goes after, or he's trying to help out uh, Gohan and Piccolo. Uh, Gohan and Piccolo didn't really do much uh, besides maybe Piccolo. He took a lot of attacks and regenerated a lot of limbs, but you know, it's kind of whatever. Uh, Tien was like kind of like the main, like kind of almost focus in the episode, so. Uh, they, uh, Vegeta and Goku, they shoot off a Kamehameha and Gallic Gun running towards Pran, and they notice that key attacks just don't work. Of course, as I already explained, it reflects off of him, almost like uh, a Botamo. And Pran reveals that he is not the person causing this, but someone else, and that they basically fell into an attack. Uh, I'll go ahead and just say before we get to that point in the episode, basically what Vegeta decides to do, this seems more like a Goku thing, but no, Vegeta thought of the idea. What he decides to do is basically just lift up a giant boulder and just start throwing them at Pran, which was uh, hilarious. Uh, but the sh actual shooter of these key attacks is uh, Harmera? Harmi uh, Harmia? A Harmira or some shit, some shit like that. I apologize if I butchered the name, but Har Harmera. I'm gonna go ahead and call him Har Harmera. I apologize if I'm butchering the name Harmera. Uh, he's the actual shooter of these key attacks, and he's shooting from well a distance. And what Tien decides to do is he decides to go f uh, just all out and just use uh, actually a technique that we haven't seen in a while uh, since. I would say Dragon Ball, or really, I guess you can say the Cell arc, because uh, Cell did use it. And the technique that I'm talking about is the multiform technique, which basically consists of him, you know, duping his bodies at the cost of halving his power by by fours, you know, uh, by all four bodies. So, you know, <laughs> so what he decides to do is go after the actual attacker with all of his clones. Uh, he succeeds, he actually does stop him, uh, he's about to shoot off a key attack, uh, because, uh, Harmera, uh, has, I guess, I guess, uh, Tien kind of crippled his arms, I guess? Uh, they're talking, whatever, Tien's about to get ready to eliminate him. Harmera actually shoots off his, like, little wrist cannons at the ground, which causes the ground to get destroyed, which knocks Tien off of the stage. But what Harmera forgot was Tien's clones. And so Tien's clones grab Harmera and they both fall off of the arena. And with Pran not being able to get any attacks off of Goku and Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta are ready to get their attacks off at Pran. But then Dr. Rota actually shows up for that last fodder gag line uh, that he said in the beginning of the episode. And. Vegeta's like, you're annoying, fucking whatever, and knocks uh, Pran and Dr. Rota off of the arena. And that's basically the end of the episode. Uh, a lot of lazy writing, I would say. It wasn't a bad episode. Animation was decent in a lot of parts. I didn't really see any, like, uh, miss-ups or anything. It, it wasn't bad, but it could have been a lot better. Uh, I don't know. Overall, it was it was a decent episode. Uh, it feels like this feels like a like, the way that I would best explain it is this is how you do filler in an arc or this is how you do filler in the middle of uh, an arc that consists of fights I, I don't know anyways I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did enjoy the video I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video right here if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like and if you're brand new to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button for future content just like this I'll see you guys in the next video peace out